Um, great game for the state. Great game for the SEC. Uh, we're excited about it. Uh, people call it a rivalry. Um, I don't. I don't think it's at that point yet. Um, it hasn't been as competitive as it, it needs to be to be considered a rivalry at this point. But um, I know a lot of people are excited about this game. Rivalries are such a big part of college football. How, how do you balance what this game means to so many folks with your every opponent every week is the same approach? Yeah, we don't. You know, we don't. You know, outside. Um, expectations, um, you know, people that are concerned about this game and that people are going to be talking about this game, that's wonderful, and I'm happy they're talking about that. I think that's, that's good for college football, I think that's good for the SEC, but it, it internally doesn't, it doesn't change anything for us whatsoever. You, you say it's not a rivalry yet. It, you, if it becomes more balanced in terms of wins and losses over the year, you want it to be a rivalry at some point? Yeah, I, I, think, it's, I think it's good for the state. I think it's, it's good for Vanderbilt. I think it's good for Tennessee. I think it's good for the SEC. You know, there's no doubt about it. You'd love, you'd love for it to be a rivalry. And those games are fun because there's so much riding on it. But at this point, I wouldn't characterize it. James, when you guys faced Butch's Cincinnati team in the Liberty Bowl a couple of years ago, there seemed to be a lot of mutual respect thrown back and forth between the coaches that week. Can you talk about your interaction with Butch that week and, and sort of your perception of him before and after that game? Yeah, um, I, I had good interaction that week with him. Um, you know, you, you do a lot of this stuff for the bowl. Um, I, think, I, think, I think we won the rib eating contest or something like that. Um, but it was fun. The wives got, got along well. The coaches all got along well. The, you know, the, the both teams interacted. It, it, was, it was a really good bowl experience for everybody involved. Um, but, you know, but that's, that's really it. The other thing that happens is you got guys on your staff that work with guys on their staff, um, you know, and so on and so forth, or buddies. I had buddies on that staff. So, um, you know, really no different than, than a lot of programs. In terms of what he did at Cincinnati, though, and what he's doing at UT, is that respect still there? Do you have respect for, I guess, what he's done to this point? I have tremendous respect for, for Coach Jones. I have tremendous respect for the University of Tennessee and their history and their traditions. I have tremendous respect for their fan base. Um, I'm assuming there will be 102,000 people at this game, 101,000 which will hate Vanderbilt and James Franklin and the rest of our players and, and let us know with boos and things like that. But it's going to be a great atmosphere. Um, we're, excited. we're excited to go play. What, what do you see of the Dobbs kid on film? Uh, I don't know how much you've studied him to this point, but does he compare at all with, with a Whitlow in terms of his escapability or running ability? I, I think he's, in general, he's smart. I think he's athletic. Um, I think for a freshman, he seems extremely poised. Uh, I think it helps because he's playing behind one of the bigger, more physical, more athletic offensive lines in the country. Um, and they've done a good job of recruiting and surrounding them with personnel. I mean, you know, I, I think we all realize, I mean, if, if you look back and, and study Tennessee, there, there's never been a lack of talent at Tennessee. I think they've had top 20 recruiting classes since 1797, I think, when the school was founded. So. Um, the fact that they have them surrounded with some pretty good talent and some, um, they're able to protect them. They're doing a good job.